Hello once again and welcome to my YouTube channel on research and data analysis. Today we want to look at the receiver operator characteristics curve using Melkak statistical software. So this is called ROC. So that is the full meaning of ROC. Normally this test is done when you want to compare a new test to a gold standard. So it's a prediction test that will determine the sensitivity and specificity of the new test as compared to the gold standard. So we want to look at this in a short video that I will show you how it is done in medical statistical software. So we will open our software. So MedCalc is here. So this MelCalc, then we will import our data. So look for where our data is. So we'll go to this folder. So this is our data. We'll import it into MedCalc. So you see that we want to use maternal blood testosterone level <clears throat> to predict the sex at birth. Can you use maternal testosterone to determine whether the child that will be born is male or female? So usually, the outcome variable, which is the sex at, sex at birth, is binary. So it's either yes or no, true or false, positive, negative. And then your predictor variable can be also can also be categorical, binary or continuous. That one does not matter. But your outcome variable should be binary. So you can see that we've coded 0 and 1, 0 for female and then 1 for male. So you see 1 here. So that is how it has to be coded. If not, it will not work. So we we'll now go to statistics, the ROC curve. We want to do ROC curve analysis. So here, your variable is your testosterone, your classification variable. So that's the categorical. When you hear classification, is categorical. So sex at birth, you select it. Then there are two methods here. We have the DeLong et al. Hanley and McNeil. So you choose. So we will go with the Hanley and McNeil. Uh, then here you can, these are options you can select. So sensitivity specificity is here if you want likelihood ratios. So if you want to include a 95% uh, confidence interval of the prediction, you can select that one too. All right. So here is about disease prevalence. It's about if it's about disease and you know this prevalence, you will select. But this one is not a disease, so we will leave that one out. So you click OK. So you can see this is your RSC. So this is your ROC curve. So this is the area under the curve. <clears throat> so you see uh, this area, the area between the diagonal line and then the curve forms the area under the curve. And then this is a 95 confidence interval. The blue dotted line is the 95 the confidence interval of this line. So you can see that too. So here is our area under the curve so 0 0.984 and it's significant it means that testosterone has potential of predicting the sex at birth so but now we need to input the sensitivity and specificity inside this box so you can see the details here yielding index is the best point where you have the highest sensitivity and specificity. So that's the yielding index. So it's located at 0 0.86. So it's normally uh, determined automatically. And this is the cutoff. So at this cutoff point for testosterone, it's where you can determine the sensitivity and specificity here. Since we coded 0 and 1, 0 for female and 1 for male, it means that testosterone values above 1.6 Five nine, depending on the unit. 
So we use picogram per male. It will determine male. Any value less than that is female. So how do we input this? So we have to format our legend. So you see format legend. So we'll move this key value here. So we put comma. Then we can put our sensitivity value here. So you can use equal sign. So our sensitivity is 97.7. So we put percent specificity. Specificity is uh, is 88.9. So you can put a cutoff point as a criterion. So at that cutoff point, that is where you can determine. So it's also uh, it's one point greater than one point this five nine this five nine. All right. So you you click on OK. So you see. So this is our ROC with all the values that we want. So we can copy your right click, copy graph. So you can send it to wherever you want it. If it's PowerPoint, you can open your PowerPoint document. Uh, so this is your PowerPoint. Uh, we can format this to blank. Then you right click and paste. So you see, that is our ROC. So you can format the margins if you want, or you can send it to Word as a figure. So thank you very much. This is how you construct an ROC curve using MedCalc software. Please share, also like my channel, subscribe, and also inform your colleagues about this channel regarding data analysis and research. See you next time.